Yep. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. And today we are going to be trying two things that Dad got from from the Ocean Shores grocery store because we are at Ocean Shores right now. Yep, we got a pretty pretty awesome IGA here in Ocean Shores, Washington, and I got two spicy products for us to try. A salty one and a saucy one. Mm-hmm. Yep. First, let's try the salty one. Yep, so this is, um... Whoa! Does it smell, like, spicy? No, it just looks really clean. This is Act 2, Hot and Spicy Popcorn. I've literally, like... I've been looking at, like, looking for, like, interesting, you know, salty, spicy products for a long time. I've literally never seen Act 2 hot and spicy popcorn anywhere. That's completely new to me. Try this. Wow, it's really inconsistent how that... You see how some of the popcorn kernels are, like, don't have any of the seasoning on them and then other ones do? All right. Let's see how hot it is. It's not hot at all, but surprisingly, that is really good. It's good? Mm hmm Hmm. Well, like you, I'm not tasting heat in that. I am tasting dryness. I like it. Hmm. The flavor's okay. I would say I would rather eat this than regular Act 2 popcorn because I don't like Act 2 popcorn in the regular flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it's dry and it's not buttery enough. Well, this at least has some flavor. I mean, it's kind of addictive, right? Oh, I love it. You like it? So what do you give it for heat? Like after eating like a few handfuls? Zero. Zero for heat? Not even a one? Mm-mm. -hmm. I'm going to give it a one for heat just because I know it's in there. Like, I can taste that it's in there. It's just not a lot of it. So I'm going to give it a one for heat. Uh, normal active popcorn, I would give, like, regular active popcorn, I'd give a four for flavor. I think it's the driest and most flavorless of the microwavable popcorns that you can find. This has more flavor, so I'm going to give it a six. Yeah. I love it, so it's an 8.5. 8.5? Mm -hmm. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, I really like it. Okay. Alright. And for the next thing we have here is this Cajun Scent Sunshine Hot Pepper Sauce. And I think a lot, I think he knows this. I love Cajun food. So. Well, it's funny because the motel that we're staying in, um, we didn't even know this when we booked the room. For $70, we got this gigantic motel room that has a little kitchenette in it. What did we uh, make for dinner tonight? Uh, Cajun shrimp alfredo. Yep, Cajun style shrimp alfredo. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have that sauce available while we were cooking, but I did have, uh, I don't know where I put it. I'm going to go find it. Because it kind of fits into this video. I was actually, I came up with a little experiment we could do. If I can find it. So one of the things I used in our Cajun uh, shrimp Alfredo was the Slap Your Mama um, Cajun seasoning. You could pour some of that on this popcorn and try to get it more heat. Yeah, this was actually making it kind of hot. Mm-hmm. All, All right, right. Is that well, open? That might be better than John Scola himself. That was a good shake, I will say. It smells like habanero sauce to me. Well, it's a Louisiana sauce, so it's probably got cayenne pepper in it. This is not cut out. Yeah, it's because it's got the, like, Tabasco thing. Here, just take off the stupid plastic thing on top. You see that thing? Just take it off. Just pour what you want with it. Oh, there. Sh okay. <laughs> Don't lose that, but yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's got that thin Cajun sauce consistency, but it might taste really good. Mm. All right. Mm -mm. That literally just tastes like habanero sauce. 
I completely disagree. I like that a lot. I hate that. Wow, that's a good Cajun sauce. Mmm. That is zesty as heck. That must have a lot of... Um... I mean, it's good, but it's also, like, not hot at all. It's not yeah. that hot, but I think it's I think it's more meant for, like, putting, like, for cooking. It's not really meant as, like, a... It's meant to, like, put into Cajun foods. Not necessarily to put over wings or anything like that, or eat. definitely not to eat straight, but I like it. I it's like it's a really four good. for flavor. And that... Uh, for heat, that's a two. I mean, for heat, that's a zero point five. I mean, the heat level is pretty low. It's probably like a one or a two for that's heat. That's the Fago bottle cap. Oh. Is this the one? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I like that a lot. I I'm not a big fan of a lot of Louisiana uh, or Cajun style hot sauces. I really really like that. I think that's nice and zesty. It's not that hot, but I think it has more flavor than a lot of the ones I've tried, and I give it a. Uh, I give it a seven for flavor. I really like it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, after he does this, I think I'm gonna end off the video. Oh yeah. Let me just try this really quick. Come on, shake it up. Let's see how it does. <laughs> Probably just to make us cough. Do it make a difference, do you think? A little bit. I'm trying to get a, like, here we go. I got a bunch of seasoning on that. Let's see if this makes a difference. You're going to cough. Probably. I like the seasoning, and the seasoning has good heat. I just don't think it works as a popcorn seasoning, because it all just goes to the bottom of the bowl. It doesn't stick to the popcorn. But, anyways, that was an interesting experiment. Yep. Well, I think I'm going to... End off this video now. I think that was a pretty good video. We have a definitely more brutal video coming up oh, after this. Yes, we did. Okay. <laughs>